This is a story about karma. I thought I understood how it worked. Good deeds are rewarded, bad deeds are punished. Then I walked in on this. That's my boyfriend, Mason. And that is Heather Campbell. There's one in every high school. What she wants, she takes. So what did karma do to get even? Absolutely nothing. I'm tired of waiting for the universe to get off its butt and start fixing stuff. We need to make karma work for us. To get back at every guy and girl that's ever screwed us over. What are you saying? We find ourselves, we Karmic beneficiary number one, Mason Brooks. Now dating the most popular girl in school. Why don't you kick it to the curb, boy? You know I think you need a new toy. Karmic beneficiary number two, Heather Campbell. Beautiful, popular, and completely insufferable. Kick it in the overdrive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Karmic beneficiary number three, Seth Taylor. My ex-boyfriend cheated on me with Lila Martin, member of Delta Delta Gamma Sorority. So, Seth wants to date older women? Fine. Welcome to your online dating profile. Describe your ideal woman. Age, 40 to 55. <laughs> Marital status, divorced. Qualities, bold, assertive, aggressive. But I've discovered, it's not always wise to meddle with the universe. Life is a balancing act. And the force that maintains this balance is karma. Because as it turns out, when you mess with karma, karma messes back. Hello? I'm at the police station. I don't understand what's happening. You have skewed the path of the universe. How do I fix it? Now that is a very good question. We could.